you can see that the sort of thing. So here we are, we're packaging together various services under various things for extra charges for users, and you get what you pay for. If you want to do the online shopping, you buy the package that's got PayPal and eBay and all of that sort of thing. So that's a nice way to sell the internet, isn't it? I don't think so. Um, but you can see that that's an attractive way to some sort of people. Um, and that I believe this is a serious threat, that some people will see this as a sensible way to do it. And how will they do it, and how will the packages be determined? Guess what? We're going to charge the content providers to be included in the packages. So in other words, if you bid most to be our search engine, you've got the job. If you want to be our main online shopping service, pay more and you get the job. Now, this is a way in which people can make more money and you know, sort of package the internet. And I can see this threat probably emerging in two particular areas we need to look at. One is the safe internet. It's only a matter of time before somebody's going to package us the safe internet. The safe internet isn't going to visit most sites. In fact, it's going to block every site that doesn't sign little things saying we're nice and safe and pay the relevant fee to be part of the service. So here's a nice little walled garden within the internet where content providers pay to be included. Maybe it's a flat fee, maybe they get more bandwidth if they pay more. That's another model you could apply to it. And therefore you get this partial internet where people are not able to access all the content that they might choose to do so. Labelled under the thought that here we are, we've solved the problem of child pornography or something like that. That would not be the best way in terms of a world that needs access to culture, that needs access to knowledge, that needs the sort of communication and global communication that the internet offers. That would not be the way to proceed with a very powerful medium and all the possibilities that it offers us for us. I think the other possibility of this threat is in the mobile space. It's going to be very easy, I think, for a mobile carrier to say, it's easiest for us to offer mobile services this way. It's far too confusing for people to have all these sites and to use the URLs and all of that. And we'll just give them um, eBay and PayPal. We'll give them Facebook, but we won't give them MySpace because Facebook happened to pay more for it, and you get these sort of packages coming up. So I do think you need to look very carefully. You need to look at how, in a regulatory sense, you might do this. And this is where, Tom, I, I have to say that I'm totally opposed to the idea of charging content providers because it opens up all of these possibilities. If you do want to do that, you're going to have to tell me how we are going to absolutely prevent this sort of internet emerging, because this is the breakdown of the internet. This is what I think this argument called net neutrality was probably all about, and this is certainly what I would like to see as a policy for an open internet.